Hi students, today we are going to continue about fish and the next kind of the fish is cartilaginous fish and do you know what's cartilaginous fish? Let me explain you. Cartilage is a kind of a tissue which is softer than the bone. For example, it's found in your ear. So, which kind of fish belong to this group? For example, shark, skates, I think you heard about rays, they belong to cartilaginous fish. These fish have bone, but it is found only and only in their teeth. They breathe by their gills. Uh, it, we said that all living things use gills if they live under the water. Here, some information about ray and skates. The best known rays are stingrays with long tails and venomous spine. Here, spine, and it is venomous, poisonous, and it is longer than the tail of the skate. And the tail of the skate is not venomous, it can't produce poison, but it can. Some of the ray can produce uh, electricity and it can reach up to 200 volts. Sting rays, as you see here, they have got they have got spine with venom, but skate doesn't have. Shark, shark is another kind of cartilaginous fish, and as you see, they have got many teeth and they are continuously renewing. They live in all kinds of seas and they move their body by moving their trunk and their tails from side to side, from side to side. They are carnivores, their food is meat and they are hunters, they eat other fish or sometimes they eat birds and other animals and even sometimes humans. Which shark generally attack the human? They are white shark, hammerhead shark, tiger shark, and blue shark. As you see here, blue, tiger head, its head is a little bit square, and uh, hammerhead shark is uh, here. Okay, now let me show you some pictures. It's white shark, and here tiger shark as you see a little bit square head hammer head shark its name is coming from its head as you see like a hammer blue shark and its name is coming from its color as you see and its body is very slim long now bony fish the bony fish is different from cartilage you fish it is full of bone it is full of bone and mostly we are uh, in Tajikistan we eat bony fish their body has a skeleton which is made up of bone as we see and they respire by means of gills they have got swim bladder as you see here they control the depth, depth or floating in the water by the help of swimming bladder if they fill with air they go they float they go upward and when they empty the swim bladder uh, they go down they go deeper they've got many scales which help their body to protect from different enemies and sometimes to camouflage and swim under the water very fast they have got fins tails fins they help to turn or slew Let's learn some information about some fish, bony fish. For example, puffer fish is an interesting. Why? Before, be, be, because it inflates, gets bigger by taking water or air when the enemy is close. Here is the link. You can watch a video about it. Electric eel. It's interesting bony fish which can produce up to 600 volts and kill its enemy. Flying fish, as you see here, it's out of the water. It can fly sometimes up to 200 meters. Another kind of bony fish, 
as you see you heard about them it's piranha it can be up to 60 centimeter in length they sometimes hunt fish amphibia bird and sometimes unfortunately human lungfish is another kind of bony fish which can live under the mud as you see here in long time they can live draw dry season until the next rainfall you can watch the video here during this time they breathe through their uh, bladder swim bladder here are some questions which cartilage fish do you know and other questions you can uh, answer later yes students don't forget to join the telegram channel to get extra materials like questions like powerpoint presentation here is the link of telegram